Welcome to RC Scientific. In this video you will see how to choose the right spring rate for your RC crawler. Suspension systems are comprised by elastic springs and viscous dampers. While the elastic force depends only on spring deflection, the viscous force is mainly a function of damper speed. Therefore, in static or slow activities, such as crawling, the damping force can often be neglected. Spring suspension is required for shock absorption at higher speeds. It shall help keeping the body stable and in the horizontal. As movements are fast, it requires the combination of springs and dampers. Furthermore, spring suspension helps to overcome large obstacles. However, there are also unwanted side effects. The suspension increases the risk to tilt at slopes. And it shakes the body due to acceleration and deceleration in forward direction. Due to centrifugal acceleration when driving curves. And due to torque twist induced by the drive unit. The optimal spring rate C can be computed knowing the mass M star of the components that are placed above the springs and the maximum suspension travel F. This optimal spring rate leads to a spring deflection X which is half of the maximum travel. Different frontal and rear spring rates can be chosen in order to compensate for different loads at frontal and rear axles. Here you see some typical values we obtain for the Traxxas TRX4 Defender. Let's go into more detail. The mass of the components placed above the springs can be computed as shown. Further relevant measures are the spring deflection X, also called spring travel, the maximum possible spring deflection F, and the spring stiffness C, also called spring rate or spring constant. Spring force is a function of spring stiffness and spring deflection. Further measures are the wheelbase L and its frontal and rear portions LF and LR respectively. The weight of the components above the springs is carried by the four springs at the wheels. Applying the equilibrium of moments condition and the spring force equations from before, we obtain the formulas for the frontal and rear spring deflections. To get equal deflections X in the front and rear springs, we can either adjust the ratio of frontal and rear spring rates or we can provide a pre-tension delta x at the frontal or rear springs. How do we get the optimal spring rate? If the stiffness is too low, we do get too much shaking and tilting. If it is too high, we cannot fully exploit the maximum possible flex of the crawler. Therefore, we should aim for a spring that is just soft enough to allow the maximum possible flex, but not softer 
to avoid shaking and tilting as much as possible. To compute the optimal spring rate, let's simulate the flex test. First, lift the front wheel, but don't tilt the body sidewards. And then, tilt the front wheel further, but now tilt the body. If we now assume that the center of gravity lies in the middle of the rectangular area ABCD, we see that the wheels at B and D lose ground contact. Hence, the supporting forces at springs B and D get zero. Consequently, the weight is only carried by springs A and C. Applying the equilibrium of forces condition leads to the optimum spring stiffness C that will just allow the maximally possible flex. The corresponding optimal spring deflection X is equal to the half of the maximum deflection F. In the following you see how these findings can be applied to the Traxxas TRX4 Defender. The computed spring rate is indeed close to the one that comes with the stock springs of the crawler. Thanks for watching RC Scientific.